In this video we're going to ask are your internet marketing goals set too low? And if you read any internet marketing forum you'll often see posts from people who are asking how they can make X dollars a day and the value for X is often surprisingly low anywhere usually between 10 and 5 dollars a day is normal for these posts. Sometimes it's as high as 10 but that's pretty rare. So does that mean that no one sets goals higher than that or that forums aren't the right place to ask where you should make hundreds or even thousands of dollars a day? Or does it simply mean that most people reading that forum are just shooting too low? And the answer is probably all of the above. There's no single correct answer anyway, but there are things you can do and obviously your circumstances and needs are different from mine and we're both different from someone else watching this video. But that doesn't really answer the question posed in the title, are your internet marketing goals too low? And to answer that properly, you need to take a step back from your internet marketing business and look at it from the point of view of the owner of the business, yeah, that's you, rather than the worker inside the business, which is the place you probably are most of the time. Michael Gerber of Emith fame calls this working on your business rather than working in your business, and it's an important distinction. The other thing is that most people either don't have a goal for their business, they just kind of do it, or if they do have a goal, it's lower than it could be. Most of the time we don't hit our goals, that goes for sport, only one team can win the championship, as well as business, there can only be one market leader in any particular industry, ask Coca-Cola, not Pepsi there, but you can be pretty certain that all the other players in that league or that business marketplace want to be number one, it's highly unlikely they're aiming to just about be able to survive, so their goals are high and yours should be as well, because the possibly unpalatable truth is that we mostly don't hit our goals we usually hit just a fraction of what we originally aimed for. And that brings us neatly back to the original question of whether or not your goals are too low. If you're aiming for a reasonable sum, such as $10 a day, that's pretty good. It translates to around $300 a month, and most people I know will be pretty happy with that. But chances are you'll get less than that, maybe $5 a day, maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, so that's about 150 a month, maybe. But if you set your target at $100 a day and got the same kind of cutback, you'd be making maybe $50 a day. Even if you only got 10% of it, you'd be making the original $10 a day you aimed for, but you'd actually be making it. But if you get $50 a day, it's half your goal amount of 100, but still five times the previous target. See the difference there? The figures are just crazy. And more importantly, would you like to see that difference in your wallet? Because it's perfectly doable. All you've got to do is shift your goal amount and then tweak what you're doing to be able to stand a chance of reaching it. And Chances are you'd do a few things differently with a bigger goal. Maybe you'd simply ignore your emails and Facebook pages for longer. Only you'll know the precise details. But, just for fun, and to see how it affects your wallet, for the next 30 days add a zero to your current goals. If you're currently going for $10 a day, that becomes 100 That kind of thing. And act as though that's what you're going to achieve. Then look back in a month's time and be glad you've done that, because I'm willing to guess almost certainly that even if you don't hit your new goal, you'll still be better off than if you are stuck with the lower one. And if you'd like to know more about setting your internet marketing goals, then click the link below this video and I'll explain more for you. So thanks for